Moving on to Japan. <laughs> yeah, Japan is also a very, very big um, country for English teaching. I have many friends who have taught in Japan, who are thinking about teaching in Japan, who are in Japan. And like I said, we recently published some blog posts from an ITTT grad who is currently teaching in Japan. So check that out on our blog. Um, Japan also has attractive benefits, uh, paid airfare, housing, health insurance, and a contract completion bonus, similar to China and Korea, and some of the highest salaries to be found anywhere in Asia. So that's usually between 2,000 and 6,000 US dollars. So depending on what kind of school you work at, you can make a lot of money in Japan. And there is the JET program. So that's a teaching program, like I mentioned at the beginning, that places foreign English teachers into public schools in Japan. It's a really popular program, very well established, one of the oldest teaching programs out there. And it's really, really great. So that's a great way to get to Japan. I believe you cannot choose where you want to teach. So if you apply for the JET program, and that's usually kind of how those programs go. You can't like choose where you want to teach. Some might allow like a preference, like, oh, I, my preference is Kyoto or Tokyo, but it doesn't mean that you can pick and choose and end up there, um, but you might because they are competitive. And yeah, a lot of people do want to go to Tokyo and those, you know, big cities. So, but you might end up in a more rural town. Um, yeah, then the requirements are usually you need to have a degree, and again, it's a bachelor's degree, a four-year degree in any subject. So it doesn't have to be English, it doesn't have to be TEFL or TESOL or education or things like that. It can be any uh, major. You need to be fluent in the English language. So also, it doesn't say you need to be a native English speaker. It doesn't say you need to be from an English-speaking country. It says you need to be fluent in the English language. So that's a great opportunity for people from everywhere. And um, you need to have a strong desire and willingness to pass on your language knowledge to your students. That's usually what they say, especially the JET program. That's like their mission. Okay. Then in the some COVID info about Japan, they also have a 14 day quarantine and the quarantine costs are mostly free. Um, so they are either paid for by the school, by the employer, um, or you know, they're they you might work out a deal like 50-50 um when it comes to the costs, etc. Okay. Mm. Irma asks, is there a big chance that an individual with no teaching experience, but with a degree and TEFL, a te and TEFL TESOL certificate can be hired in any country? Yeah, so actually the majority, I would say the majority of um, TEFL, TESOL, ESL teachers going abroad, they don't have any teaching experience. A lot of them are fresh out of college. And so um, they get hired. I didn't have any teaching experience. I was hired. Most of the people that I know had no prior experience per se. Um, so it's definitely possible for sure. You probably get a higher salary. Like when I first taught in China and then I came to Korea and I had experience from like teaching experience from teaching in China, I did get a higher salary in Korea. So that was nice. Um, but I still work with a lot of people there in the school that had no prior experience. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> so experience is usually, in some countries it is required, but typically it's just a bonus, you know, um, something that sets you apart and something that can get you a higher salary. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.